An infection had ravaged the world of Minecraft. The world had been turned asunder. Thankfully, it would go on no longer, for there was one who was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. He was a powerful necromancer named Edel McFuckmuffin, and he had spent all his time dedicated to curing the infection. Unfortunately, for long he had no clue how to fix this, but he found a tome that would help him solve it all. Unfortunately, the cost of using such a powerful spell to get rid of such a devious, disgusting infection would be his own life, a sacrifice he was willing to make a hundred times over. So he made it. And with a flick of his mechanism, the machine that would destroy it all, he would die. Leaving a science lab in shambles. A world would never discover him, but his sacrifice would be forever now. Unfortunately for him, he did not know the effect he would have on the world. His spell released large amounts of radiation, corrupting many creatures and creating many more, which led to the creation of the mutants. Now inhabiting the world, something new to fear for our survivor. Hello everybody, and welcome to I'm Thirsty. Today, I will be extremely thirsty and irradiating particles of dysentery. So, as we were before, I was thirsty. I drank some dirty water, I sorted my chest and grabbed a few things while I was out. When I say a few, it's not like when other YouTubers are like, so, I mind for a little bit. No. So, what I, what I did do while you're gone, I actually did record this, but I got rid of it because I sounded like an idiot. I, uh, I, I got this brewing stand placed down and uh, sorted my chest, put a few extra things in there. And I realized when looking through this thing that sandwiches are really not hard to make. They just require bread, raw pork chop, and grass, which is super easy for something that's so good. I had also realized that I did want to make an underground house. And the reason for that is because I had an overwhelming wave of radiation imbued with the message infection safe and if you're not cringy and are not into role play that just basically means that infection mod was making me feel very sick to play so uh, i got rid of it and in return i added a few mods that uh should retain the challenge if you will so that that should be that should definitely be a thing um yeah, we're we're gonna see we're gonna see a lot of mobs that I don't want to deal with from now on, pretty much. Um, today is moving day. I've had enough of all this sitting around. I've had enough. Today is moving day. Anything that's important is coming with. Bucket of water, coming with. Putting that in there. Making a pickaxe. Boop. Bada bang. Okay. That takes care of that. Taking this coal with. Taking that coal with. Make stuff. And then I'm gonna pick up my little table, and I'm gonna pick up my little anvil, and I'm gonna pick up that and this, and yeah, there we go. I'm ready to go. Let's let's get out of here. This place sucks. Gonna find somewhere better to live. I was hanging out in the darkness when the spider attacked me, even though it wasn't nighttime, which confused me. What a bastard. But to celebrate my victory, I drank some dirty water. I was actually pretty hot, even though I was in the shade. And off in the distance, it would appear as if world generation changed. Interesting. Interesting. So I kept on heading towards that odd structure of far land or something like that and as promised there was a village over here indeed it's kind of all over the place but you know it's fine villagers are not zombies so that's nice enough grab some more potatoes because they had some and i didn't really notice anything super notable though so I kind of just continued on my way into the jungle. 
While in the forest, I found a runic altar, which summoned the thingy, so I sprinted towards it and broke the spawner as quickly as possible. But not before it was able to summon an elemental. I'm not really sure what it was doing all the way over there, but it wasn't doing its job. No, don't tell me all the way out here. Okay. Once I had murdered the thing, I decided to eat up some taters and got some spark bombs and a novice spell. After that, I really just wanted to get on my way. I didn't want to die out here and with all the new creatures and creepers around, I did not want to be victim so early in my adventure. That... I don't think that's how you hold that, buddy. Give them hell, boy. <laughs> the sun was starting to come up, which was a little comforting, but... I'm not sure how comforting comforting can get. So I drank some dirt or water to make me feel a little better. Then I continued on my way, hoping I would find the perfect spot to make a bunker. Although the sun was coming up, which meant it was starting to get warmer. I saw a little green penis man, so I avoided him. Or hello, penis man. I just kept on walking. At this point, I had been wandering a while, and I started to wonder, was I really looking for a great place to live, or did I just want to wander? Was it the risk that I was enjoying, or was it really looking for home? The thought meant nothing to me, honestly, because, well, it didn't matter. Either way, I was going wherever I was going, and if I died on the way, it would be upsetting, but it wouldn't be the worst loss in the world. Especially thanks to the gravestone mod. I had walked by some redwood forests and saw some horses. All in all, it was quite a fun journey. Even if I did die soon, at least it wouldn't have been the worst thing. To celebrate my revelation, I drank some dirty water. But my potatoes were trying to interrupt me. So I drank more dirty water. Don't do it, potatoes. I looked on my map, however, and saw a little village and some more library ruins, which took my interest. I figured if there's anywhere to be, I could stay in a village for a little while. So I started wandering over that direction, and sure enough, it wasn't far at all. However, I was thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. I heard a skilling tent again, but I wasn't sure where. An invisible stealth skeleton had been following me. I now had a waystone here for Anyway, this place. And I noticed there was a blue base over there too. How interesting. I filled in this house a teeny bit so I could eat and get a drink. I didn't want anyone to be around in the power, the power within. In this chest though I found plenty of bread and iron which would be nice. Indeed, I was able to make two sandwiches. This was pretty nice. They fill your hunger, like, completely. They're very useful. And they regenerate you. I was no longer thirsty. And I had found somewhere to call home for the night. Not sure which house it was going to be in, but it was home for now. But I was still interested to see these library ruins that I saw on the map. So I started to wander, and it really wasn't far. I even saw a lost city in the distance nearby the library. But what in the library would be so helpful? Were these bookshelves full of anything at all? Or were they completely empty? It looked as if they were, but I wanted to double check. And of course, they weren't really. It was the darkness lying to me. What else do you hide, little bookshelves? What little books do you hide, little bookshelves? Dusty. Only one viable book here. Alright, it's nighttime. I'm going back home. Screw this. So I wandered back this way. And, uh. Let's just say. I borrowed the villager's house. This is mine. Is this okay? Yes? Okay, cool. I then spent my night harassing this villager. <laughs> but in the end, I was just kind of thirsty. So, I took these seeds, threw them down the stream, 
and got up on a stone slab, started dancing even harder, and got another drink of water. In the end, I did it. I was Iron Man, and my arm was missing for some reason inside my inventory. In the real world, I found it. I decided, let's go hang out at the blue base. They'll help me out. I heard Gru though, so I turned on the torch and went over near the medic because strength in numbers, right? There was a heavy, a medic, a demo man, and a skit. I wasn't sure that they were going to shoot at, but I should have access to this place now, which I do. The garage door opened for me, <laughs> and like that, I was part of the blue team for real. None of this pansy ass bullshit of breaking into red base. There was even a sticky jumper inside. I wasn't really sure what I was going to use the sticky jumper for, because I figured I'd probably die. But there was sticky bombs in a box though, so I could test it out. I wanted to try my sticky bumper. I did indeed still take fall damage, which was annoying. But at least I knew I had a reliable scapegoat had it come to the worst of the worst. I knew that Gru was going to be a bastard and it was getting chillier, so I just wanted to continue on my path. I did see something glowing in the distance. I didn't know if it was fire or plant or something, but I just kind of meandered that direction. Indeed, I saw a plant and a warrior skeleton, which I didn't want to deal with, as well as a floating tool. It seemed like there were a lot of skeletons out tonight. I knew if I stuck around too long, I'd probably die. But I, at least I had my sandwich ready. So I ate it and started regenerating while sprinting at a very angry skeleton. It seemed like the other skeletons were taking notice though and I needed to run. Run fool, run fool, run fool, run fool. I think I went the wrong direction. I think this was backwards. I think this was backwards. I think that this was backwards. They were starting to kill me though, so I ate my sandwich again and tried to regenerate as much as I could. I wasn't really sure if I had gotten away, but I was definitely running for it. You seen these skeleton warriors were more capable than your average skeleton, obviously. But I just needed to get away. I even saw a regular skeleton come out from inside the building. I drank some dirty water and immediately threw my torch back on because I didn't want Gru to come get my ass and make it grass. But I devised a perfect formulated plan that would never absolutely not go wrong, possibly, definitely not, of digging into a wall. Because let's be honest, night's scary. Got my torch going, and there it was. Then I made a bad decision. I decided, what is this pussy nonsense, and decided to go outside. But it was actually daytime, so I was more fine than anything else. I did check my map, and it did turn out I was actually going the wrong direction. So I decided to take a start right and uh, go that direction instead. With my new sticky jumper, it made speed the key. Who's that in the distance? Mm. Who goes there? Who fights what? Something. <laughs> that didn't sound good. I don't know what that was, but it's scary. Oh, there's something too. Yes, I must stay far away from all that. The sad part is, is I was out of sandwiches. And I couldn't really afford to be giving up all my health. I had even broken one of my swords. And this sheep here seemed invulnerable. Due to my weakness though, I, it understood. I killed it though, because, you know, I was, I was hungry, so I did that. Got its mutin, and immediately regretted not making another sword. But at least I killed another sheep. I came across another lost city, but honestly I didn't even want to live near or in one of those. But nearby it had a little wheat field and a, another wizard, so 
I decided I was going to hang out in his house and see if he was evil or not. It seems like he was not going to have my nonsense today though, so I was going to have to block him in and try my tried and true technique of blocking his ass. But it seemed like he wasn't really too interested in the whole blocking thing. I was able to smack him through the corner though a little bit. And then I knocked him in just the right place to murder him. Which was pretty easy. What did he have in his house though? He had a wand melee upgrade. Interesting. Upgrades a wand. Use mana to deal more damage to mobs when hit. Hmm. I had also found a scroll. Identifies an unknown spell or scroll. So, I grabbed that advanced boogie, stuck it in my other hand, and identified it. It was a shadow ward book. I had no clue what that meant, but I had a book of shadow ward. Cool. I then found this little cubby, and I thought, you know what? You know what? I think this little cave right here, I think it might be the place. I think it might be the place. So I grabbed my map. I zoomed in real tough, and I put an X that marks this spot. What will I use to mark this area, you may wonder? Eh, just a diamond. We'll call it, uh, home. Because I'm creative. So, I made some redwood to clear off the place for the night, because, let's be honest, I knew something bad was going to be coming for me soon enough if it wasn't already here. So I, I kind of just built a wall, hoping no tornado would come tonight, because that would pull the wall away easy. Um, which left me with a new home in a cave. So if you guys like this video, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I would super appreciate it. Um, I have no clue, this, this, this video might be long or short, depending on how I edit it. It's probably going to be pretty short, because... Good lord, there was a lot of traveling. I mean, just look at all this. I used to live over there. But this is actually a lot more blocks than it looks. Anyway, like I said, if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, bye.